This invisible house has been viral online and I've always wondered what it's like to stay in there. The only problem is that one night will cost you around $2,500. Maybe one day I can afford it. So instead I booked this much more affordable 9 square meter invisible house. But even then it's $200 per night. Is it worth it? I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical but we'll find out. As we were moving our stuff in and I saw the interior of the house I remember there was only one thing on my mind. How confident can I be about the fact that when I a human walks by the house, I can clearly see them, but they can't see me. Yeah, you can't see anything from the outside. So now knowing that we're completely invisible to the outside world, we could fully relax knowing that there's nothing that could go wrong. Anyways, here's a super fast tour around the house. Here's the bedroom, here's the view from the bedroom, there's our kitchen, I guess this is the living room, and then of course a small toilet and a nice cozy shower. And my favorite thing, we had a sauna. Welcome to my crib, let's go. Now let's give a quick thumbs up for the extremely professional camera work. <laughs> so now that we were in full vacation mode, we decided to go running. It got really dark outside and once we got back to our house, we were shocked to see this. What? The supposedly invisible house that you can see right through. In hindsight, I know that this is just basic science, but at that time, we were not happy. <laughs> These invisible houses work just the same way as the interrogation rooms you see in movies. They use a special type of material, so when the observing room is dark, more light is coming through the glass than being reflected from the room, so you can see the suspect. It can also work the opposite way, meaning when it's dark outside and you turn on the lights on the inside, everyone can see you. So yeah, unfortunately, we had to close the curtains, which I feel like somewhat defeats the purpose of this place. But after going to the sauna and jumping in the snow naked, which I'm certain everybody does, no? Uh, we realized we could still open the curtains and turn off the lights on the inside so that nobody could see inside and while going to sleep we could still enjoy the view. Waking up, I don't think I've felt this fresh in 10 years, so this place gets a 9, would definitely go again out of 10. 